Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and a managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're going to be discussing marriage fraud, uh, specifically within the context of the U.S. immigration apparatus. Uh, the reason I bring this up is we do a lot of family-based petitions out of our offices here in Bangkok. We see a lot of fiancé and marriage visas. Um, we see children of American or children of American citizens, American lawful permanent residents, and stepchildren of American citizens. So we deal with a lot of family-based stuff. There was a recent article or a recent posting on the USCIS website, USCIS.gov, release date May 3rd, 2018. Uh, the headline is USCIS plays key role in Miami marriage fraud conviction. Quoting directly, Miami, that's the byline. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services officers detected a multi-year fraudulent marriage scheme which resulted in the investigation and conviction of, I'm going to redact the name, a Jamaican national on April 25, 2018. Benjamin G. Greenberg, United States Attorney for the Southern District of Florida, Mark Selby, Special Agent Charge, U.S. Immigration Customs Enforcement, Homeland Security Investigations, Miami Field Office, and Linda M. Swansina, Swasina, USCIS Miami and Caribbean District Director made the announcement. Um, the individual was convicted at a trial on April 25, 2018 of procurement of citizenship or naturalization unlawfully in violation of Title 18 United States Code Section 1425A and misuse of evidence of citizenship or naturalization violation of Title 18 United States Code Section 1423. Quoting further, according to evidence presented at trial, in 2007, the Jamaican national paid a U.S. citizen between $8,000 and $10,000 to enter into a fraudulent marriage so he could unlawfully obtain U.S. residency and qualify for citizenship. Based on the fraudulent marriage, he acquired residency and in 2013 became a U.S. citizen. About two months after obtaining a U.S. passport, he filed for divorce against his U.S. citizen spouse and soon after married the mother of his child, also a Jamaican national. He then filed immigration paperwork to have his Jamaican citizen spouse obtain U.S. permanent residency. So why am I bringing this up? Well, I bring it up because, first of all, I have little doubt that any of our clients are engaged in any sort of sham marriages. But the question, you, you kind of do see people talk about, oh, you can just marry somebody and get a green card. And most people that are talking about it either don't know what they're talking about or speaking sort of flippantly or from a state of kind of ignorance. Um, the fact of the matter is you have to be engaged in a bona fide relationship in order to um, seek uh, marriage or fiancé or immigration benefits uh, based thereon. So it has to be genuine. Uh, clearly this investigation was rather detailed. Um, I urge those who are interested to go check out that story in detail because there's a lot more where they go into what they, what they went through to go ahead and apprehend this individual and bring them to trial. The reason I bring it up is more to highlight the fact the immigration apparatus's enforcement capabilities are not to be sniffed at. Um, they are substantial. Moreover, they take these issues seriously. You know, I'm sure there are those out here, out there that would say, well, what's the big deal? You know, I mean, okay, so the guy gamed the system a little bit. Well, he didn't game the system. He lied, um, and he utilized a, the mechanisms in a way that they weren't intended to be utilized. And frankly, the result of having somebody fraudulently in the system taxes the system uh, to the point where it's detrimental for the other folks that are in the system who are genuine, have a bona fide relationship, and are processing for genuine reasons. Um, not to get too much on, you know, not to high road him totally, um, but it, you know, it's simply, you know, it's a crime. And there is an, there is an investigation apparatus, an inspectorate, if you will, within the Department of Homeland Security that is designated with apprehending these individuals and ascertaining uh, whether or not these cases are legitimate. And where they find that these cases are not legitimate, there could be criminal penalties. So when thinking of anything having to do with the immigration apparatus, uh, the first thing to think of is, first of all, just don't lie. Don't, you know, don't do this kind of thing. Don't engage in this kind of activity. Tell the truth and deal with the legal consequences. Um, and then further, and more obviously, you know, don't engage in fraud. So, you know, that being said, why I wanted to make this video was to highlight that the immigration apparatus in the United States does have enforcement officers, they have inspectors, they take their job seriously, they have budgets, and they do inspect these cases. 
um, and they do inspect those that they feel are, you know, sort of operating under suspicious circumstances. So, uh, sort of prospectively, it's a good idea to keep that in mind and understand that this is a serious process and the adjudication needs to be dealt with seriously.